Jeopardy! The IBM Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Watson. IBM supercomputer Watson is already a game show champion. Who is Hyde? Hyde, yes. And an accomplished chef. Hello. <laughs> now, as part of the company's growth strategy, IBM is putting Watson to use in the real economy, tackling some large-scale challenges. We see Africa as one of the great new growth frontiers, not for next year, but for the decades to come. They, they've got a lot of challenges as their economies continue to evolve. And what we announced with Project Lucy is that we're going to start to look at some of the problems that are, are indigenous to Africa itself, whether it's health care or some of the socioeconomic problems or the political problems. I mean, if Watson could figure out politics, you'd be the first one, because that, that's well, a tough nut to crack. Po politics, that, uh, that one's going to be tough for anybody, I think. Watson's ability to crunch massive amounts of data has also caught the attention of doctors. They saw something on the game show that could help them. They're facing an enormous challenge. There's a massive amount of published information that they have to, to read and learn as part of medical school and then keep up with with published medical journals. And then they have to think about you know, new drug trials, new clinical trials coming up, and just staying current on everything becomes a key issue for most doctors. Services like Watson are critical to IBM's future. The once dominant tech company has struggled as demand for servers and hardware slump. A few years ago, Watson would have been as big as his whole line of servers, but things have changed. If we open this door, Watson now is only about this big. IBM needs this slicker version of its most attention-grabbing machine to give the company a boost, hoping its brain power will do the trick. Is Watson getting smarter? Uh, Watson is learning lots of different um, domains. If we, if we remember the Jeopardy match, it was very good at answering questions. Um, we're now teaching it chemical equations. We're learning about patents. We're, we're working on systems that can start to understand the personalities of the people that are interacting with it. We've all been inundated with Hollywood movies, whether you're talking about Terminator or The Matrix, where the idea of thinking, reasoning computers scare us. You know, there's a dark side to that. Um, how much time do you at IBM spend thinking about that? Well, really, I think we have to start with where the technology is today. And really what we're trying to do is build systems that can help humans reason through massive amounts of data, not instead of humans, with humans. To IBM, Watson is less a threat and more a modern-day detective, making its name all the more appropriate. Maggie Lake, CNN, New York.